Hi guys, welcome back to Ask Camdoc. My name is Shane and I'm a final year medical student and neuroscience supervisor at the University of Cambridge. And this is my story of starting medical school. <laughs> And then I got to talking to the year above, etc. And they were they were the same things like actually, you know, making your own notes isn't going to do that much. You know, the handout is what the exams are going to be based on. So you you're better off just kind of looking at the handout, reading it, and then trying your best to memorize it to the best of your ability, so that you can just recall it when when it comes to the exams. And once I heard that bit of advice, I was like, okay, let me let me do that then. So I stopped making my own notes, and then I had the, these lecture handouts which were provided by each department, either anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, etc. And then I'd I'd look at it, you know, I'd personally I like highlighting, so I you know I'd highlight certain things because I feel it helps helps me read. But I would do that, but once I'd got to the end of a page I'd stop and then I'd try my best to actively free recall majority of the key points that were mentioned in that page. So what I'd do is, you know, say if I'd read to the end of the page, I would try my best to kind of close my eyes and start to recall all the major points that were mentioned in that page before I started to move on. And I wouldn't move on until I'd got what I deemed to be an acceptable level of recall, which actually, if I were to put a statistical number on, I'd probably say about 80 to 90 percent. And I would kind of do, you know, I started doing that and that paid off because I managed to turn the year around and I managed to get a first and I you know ranked top 10 in the year as well. So you know basically the key point I'm trying to drive home here is you might feel really out of depth going into medical school and you're going to be bombarded with all this new information and new subjects and topics that you haven't really come across ever before into any level of depth and you're going to feel really overwhelmed and you're going to feel like you know either you don't deserve to be here you don't deserve to have gotten into medicine or medicine isn't right for you firstly you need to stop that's not true at all all you have to do is change the way that you go about learning things so you know I'm a big advocate of active recall and look out for the guide that I'm going to be releasing. I'm going to be linking some resources that will help you kind of go about learning and memorizing, which unfortunately is a big part of medicine. However, understanding is also very important. But essentially the key point is, please don't panic. Please don't feel like you don't deserve to be here or you don't deserve to have gotten in. And you will do very well. You just need to learn how to do well. And hopefully I'm going to help with that. But yeah, that's basically been a brief summary of my story of coming into medical school in Cambridge and just feeling completely out of my depth and feeling and, you know, kind of doing things wrong initially. And but then learning from it and then turning around, turning it around. And then now I supervise the subjects that I've struggled to learn. So, you know, it's fine to feel out of depth. Things will change you will learn how to study and you will do very well. That's it for me for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, follow and share. Make sure as many medical students as possible find out about us and what we're trying to do. Um, but until next time, that's it for me and I'll see you guys later.